Hello everyone. Welcome to, excuse me, welcome to my Facebook Live. It is catalog launch day. Um, our brand new um, September to December mini catalog is available today. You can start shopping for those in my online store. Hang on, I'm just going to get one drink. Um, you can start shopping for that in my online store today. Fantastic. Um, some products, there's a couple of products that are not available right now, but the good news is um, some of the products that are not available right now are going to be in stock next week or even just a few weeks later in the month. So um, hang in there. I know that um, catalog launch days are exciting. There's always a lot of anticipation for them, but hang in there. I have, um, I don't know if you can see this like mounding catalog here. Um, I don't want to pick it up and well, can I, I don't, I have 40 cards to share with you guys. Look at all these cards in here. Um, and I separated the cards by the stamp set or the suite that they are featured in the catalog. So we're going to go through those pretty quickly. I don't want this Facebook live to be, you know, hours long, but I have 40 cards to share with you guys. And then I'm going to share with you a really fun pocket fold card. Um, I'm not going to complete the card, but I'm going to show you the steps to complete it. And then I'm going to th show you three different varieties of that card. So hang in with me. It's going to be a really fun Facebook live. But before we get to that, there are a few things that I want to let you guys know about. We have a special release of some designer series papers today. There are five different packages. Um, these were originally slated to be part of our second celebration offering, but when Stampin' Up! canceled that celebration offering, they already had the DSPs. So they decided they're just going to do it as a special release. Some of these DSPs coordinate with products in our mini catalog. Um, so you can shop for both of those in my online store, the special release DSP, as well as the mini catalog. Um, those products do coordinate. Um, the special release DSP, I do want to stress though, is available only while supplies last. I don't know how much stock they have of these, so they might sell out pretty quickly. So if you love DSP, you might want to check these out. Again, those are only available while supplies last. Um, I do have my card crate for September available. This is the pick of the patch bundle that I am featuring. Um, it comes with a punch, the bundle. If you need to add on the bundle, you can. Um, you are making five amazing cards featuring that bundle. You're also going to get $20 in product. Um, all the details for Card Crate are in the video description, so you can head to that link in the video description for more information on that. Um, the deadline to sign up for that is coming up in the next week, so make sure that you sign up for Card Crate if you want it. Okay, guys, we're going to go through all these cards in the catalog. So um, we're not going to go through the catalog page by page. I'm really just going to focus on um, the ones I got swaps from. Now when I you, when you participate in a swap, you make, in my case, I made 20 of one design and then I sent it off and I got 20 different designs back. Um, this is one of the designs I made. So I actually did two groups. So I made um, two different designs of cards and then I got 40 back. So um, this was one of the ones I made. Super cute. The other design that I made, I thought that I had saved it because I wanted to show you guys and I cannot find it for the life of me anywhere. So it, I think it might have been put somewhere and it's now either used or it's gone. But I will have that card posted on my blog on Friday. Um, and this card, my other swap card, will actually be posted on my blog tomorrow. So you can check out both of those. But let's jump into the swap cards. Um, so the first one features the Merry and Bright suite. I featured this suite last week in my, um, or on Sunday in my Sneak Peek Sunday series. So you can check that out. This card is so adorable. So she used the frame from the um, Scallop Contours dies to make a card. So there's just a card glued on the back, which is so cute. This is Melissa Davies, um, which I just, I love this idea. It's such a cute idea. So, um, and then I just love the way she did the, the little bulbs. So cute. All right, let's move on. Now some cards you or some sweets you'll see there are multiple multiple cards so you'll see how popular some of these are this is the festive and fun set see i'm already losing cards um i just love this stamp set i haven't had a chance to play with it too too much but i just love it and this one is linda cullen and i just i love it so fun all right moving on these are from both of these cards are from the joy to you stamp set this is a really good stamp set with greetings which is fantastic um she uses a granny apple green foil here which is just gorgeous this is rachel trout very very pretty i love this card very simple but very very elegant pretty um this one is heather guerrero i hope i'm saying names right if not i do apologize but i 
absolutely love these. I think these are just one inch squares. One and a quarter inch squares. Yeah, these are one and a quarter inch squares. But I just love this like quilted method. And once all those squares were put on, she embossed them. Um, so they, there's lots of fun textures on there. So um, this is some new DSP in the catalog. She's got a new ribbon. I mean, just a really fun this, um, card with that greeting as well. So really, really fun. All right. We have lots from the Berry Christmas Suite. I featured this one in one of my sneak peek Sundays, and this one is super popular. Um, this card is by Lynn Streifert. I think I hope I'm saying these names right. Now, I didn't get this ribbon in my pre-order, but this is the ribbon that's featured here, and it is a fantastic, beautiful ribbon. I'm gonna have to get this. It is, it is so amazing. And then she um, cut the bear straight from the DSP, so just a really really fun cute adorable card these are this is definitely one of my favorite sweets for sure um this one i just love the simplicity of this one i love the the glimmer paper here um some dsp in the back really cute this one is marcia gay this one i love this one too this is by my friend um lisa miltakis i just love this card i love the simplicity of it i love the circle oh so so good the embossing i just love this one i think i'm gonna case this one just love it um, some more bear cards. You guys, I told you this one was a popular suite. This one is by Melanie Covertston. I love this one too. <laughs> that punch is so adorable. This is some new ribbon in the catalog too. This is a new embossing folder, new DSP. So lots of amazing new products on these cards. This one is a fun fold card. This is by Lonnie Pilar. This one opens like that. It's a Z fold. It's a fun fold. I just love it. I'm going to say I love it a lot, guys. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Um, the Gift of Giving. This one is by Julie Salva, and I love this fun fold. So it opens like that. It'll stand up on a table or mantle, a desk. It opens like that. She's got some Wink Stella on the little marshmallows, and it is just an adorable little card. So love that one. That's from the Gift of Giving set over here. Um, the Fragrant Forest, this is a background stamp set. So when you see it in the catalog, it looks a little smaller, but it covers a whole card front. It is so, so pretty. Um, and this one is by Laura Milligan. Very, very pretty. All right. All right, now this suite has a lot. So let me actually move back just one page so you can see. This is the Joy of Christmas suite. So there are two stamp sets in the suite. There's two packages of DSP. Lots of stuff in the suite. And so there are lots of cards with this one. So let's um, turn a page to this one. So there are two different stamp sets. So these cards that I'm going to share with you share, um, um, use either one of these stamp sets. So I love this one. She used a different DSP than one that's in the suite, which it, I love a lot. I think it's really good to um, kind of mix and match those. So this one is a really good, another one I'm going to case, I think. I really like that one. All right. Um, this one is gorgeous. This has those dies. So beautiful. And this is a book binding card. So this part, um, it only opens this way. So you get that, that kind of book fold card. Um, so pretty. More dies on this one. I love them just in the corner there. And then the stamped, this is a die too, this fun label, this like square label with the clipped corners, very cute. And this DSP is just stunning. And this is a fun fold as well. Isn't that cute? And that one is Julie Salva. And you know what? I didn't mention this one. This one is Marcia Gay, this one. And this one was Sandy Carlson. All right, moving on. This one, I love this one with the different colors too. And she used the foil to cut out that Noel. Um, this is Janice Whiteman. So pretty. Um, this one, she used that DSP. And I love the layout of this DSP, too. I love how it's broken up a little bit. Um, some of the embellishments in there. This is Dina Rico. So really pretty. This is Lynn Feldkamp. Um, just more of that beautiful DSP. Um, the ribbon, she colored that with blends, I believe. I think this is a vanilla. Yeah, so that's a vanilla and black gingham ribbon. She colored it with blends and made a red and black gingham. So pretty. Um, and then more of the dies. And then this is the last one. And I love the softness of the vellum. Did I mention who did this one? Yeah, Lynn Feld Feldkamp. And then this one is Kathy Miller. Um, and then she did some Winka Stella on the DSP too, which is really pretty. Okay, so moving on. I have one card using this Wishes All Around bundle, which is such a fun bundle. 
um, this one, and I just love this one. This is Dina Rico. Um, the embossing folder, this ribbon that's used is gorgeous, and I just, it's such a beautiful card. Um, and it's lined on the inside, so pretty. Okay, let's move on. Oh, you know what? We skipped these because these all slid out. So let me, let's go back to those. I knew we had missed them. Let me see. Here they are. So this is the Oh Holy Night Suite. This is another one that has two different stamp set bundles in here. Um, so this one is by Karen Titus. She, I love this card. I love the, the little accents on here on the DSP. This one is Susie Wood, that embossing folder. And the ribbon, just so, so gorgeous. Some of those little trinkets. And then this one is a fun fold card, and this is Michelle Hornbach. And this is a an easel card, so it'll stand up just like that. But isn't that stunning? I love the gold, and I love this layout too. Um, I love that that greeting fits in here with that circle punch on the outside, so really pretty. Okay, now we can pick back up to where we were. We're into the fall now. This is the All About Autumn Suite, which I love this one. All right, this is Sandy Carlson just pretty I love all these little gold accents on here really really pretty this one is by Ree Hughes and the leaves are die cut she's got some of the paper on there the embossing folder just really really elegant card and look how well my nails coordinate with this card so pretty um, this one I love this one too I love this um, all these metallic accents in this suite are really really gorgeous this is Leanne Greff so, and then she heat embossed the greeting down here too, just to add more of that metallic accents. Gorgeous. And then this is a fun fold card, and I really love this one. This is Sue Kempter Miller. Um, I'm going to case this. This is so cute. Look at that. Oh, so fun. So I'm going to save this. We're going to make this card sometime on my, for Facebook Live or in a class or something. I think it's so, so pretty. And she's got a lot of that DSP on there too, all those fun metallic accents. So pretty. Okay. Let's see where are we so this one I had one with the so sincere this is um, this bundle down here this is a um, million dollar stamp set by um, Sandy Hancock the card is made by Lynn Feldkamp but isn't this so pretty with just that that happy birthday greeting on the side she used the DSP some embossing folders just a really gorgeous simple card there love it okay all right now this one the um, them bone sweet this is with the bag of bones um, bundle now you guys this is one of the ones that's unavailable right now the dies are actually scheduled to be back in stock next week um, the glow in the dark paper is unavailable for about a month though so hang in there I know that you guys um, want this but hang in there it's it's coming back don't worry um, but this card is so cute this the fence is made with the glow in the dark paper so it's gonna glow and I love how she's dressed up her little her little skeleton guy and there's a glow in the dark bat up there too and this is a fun fold so lots of DSP used on this one too so really really adorable card um, by Heather Guerrero okay this one so this one is from this one so this is the tricks and treats another adorable one some glow in the dark elements this little ghost I cut is adorable isn't that so cute just an adorable little card um, Janice Waitman love that um, okay, the rest of them in my little group right here is from the Pick of the Patch. Now, remember, if you love this bundle, this is the one I'm featuring in my card crate this month. So you can get this one. Just um, check that video description for all the details. I love this simple Halloween card embossing folder down here, DSP up here. Um, this one did not come with a name. I do not know who made this one. So, But it is beautiful and adorable, and I love it. Uh, this one is by Michelle Hornbach, another great great card she's got some stenciling back there from the masks I believe oh no no that's stamping from here and then some little ribbons oh just love it so so cute all right try not to lose all my cards this one I love this one too this is Rachel Trout she's used some of that metallic DSP as well she's got some of that beautiful metallic ribbon that copper ribbon um it's a fun fold I love this one too I love that layout so so cute all right, this one is done with the stencil and I think, or the mask, I think that one's further in the catalog, but I love this one. I love the colors. I love that little pop of um, sparkle right there. Just so, so cute. And then finally, the last one from this, from this bundle, um, 
man, I like this one a lot. This is Nancy Thompson. Did I mention who did this one? Leanne Graff did that one. Um, Nancy Thompson. So I love all these little stamped pumpkins here. Just adorable. And she's got some on the inside too. So really cute. Okay, let's move on. Um, the Garden Walk Suite. I have one card here, an embossing folder, beautiful stamped, got a little embellishment, that ribbon, so cute. This one is um, Melanie. It's so Melanie. I don't see a last name on here. Okay, so, but it's so cute, and I love the colors. Lots of DSP on there, too. Okay, let's move on. The More Wishes stamp set. This one is the one that I'm featuring in my PDF this month. When you purchase $50, you'll get the make and take it that coordinates at. Any order in my online store this month using my new host code receives that PDF. And this is the stamp set I'm featuring in it. So this is one example with it. She used some new DSP, some of the new ribbon there. This one also did not have a name, so I'm not sure who did this one. But so, so cute. Love it. And let's see. Okay. This is it. We are down to the end. Oh, wait. No, we're not. We have one more page after that. So this one um, by Judy Tuttle um, features the year to celebrate. Isn't that cute? This one wasn't one that was on my list, but this card is so adorable. It's paired up with that uh, Mary Bold and Bright paper. Just adorable. All right. And the other ones feature this Cheers to the Season stamp set, which I am loving the more and more that I look at it. This one is Susie Wood. Just so pretty. I love the stamping on here. So she stamped it twice, once in the red, once in the green, and she fussy cut the red and just overlaid it. So pretty with some DSP on there as well, some new ribbon. Um, and then this is another one um, by Sue Kempter Miller. And this is another one of those amazing folds that we will definitely be making. And she used that um, that leaf there. So cute. And then some of the other DSPs from the, from the mini catalog. All right, the final, final card here is by Linda Cullen, and this features the Warmest Heart bundle. And this is another one that wasn't on my wish list initially, but the more I look at it, the more I think, hmm, maybe I need to get that. So cute. I love this little thermos and the little, little lid for the cup. So cute. What a cute little card. Um, okay, so that is 40 cards, all made with mini catalog products. So lots of really great varieties there. I hope that you saw something that that inspires you, that you love, um, you can head to my online store and shop. Like I said, this is the new host code. This is September's host code. When you shop using this host code, you'll receive a PDF with three exclusive projects. If your order is over $50 more, you're also going to receive the make and take it that coordinates it with that. All right. So I told you guys we were going to make a card today. We're going to make a double pocket card. So this one has a pocket for a gift card. There's a pocket for a little note, or you can stick a picture, or another gift card, or a tea bag, or a treat, or anything you want, and then it opens up like this as well. So, um, it is a really cute card. It's actually really simple. Now, I'm going to show you how to do the folding and how to get it to to the card point, but we're not going to finish it. But I have two other samples that I'm going to share with you after we do all of the folding. So, isn't it adorable? Just so cute. All right. So we're going to start with a piece of DSP. This is from the, I think it's called the Winter Wishes or the Winter Meadow. Winter Meadow DSP. This is brand new in our mini catalog. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous package of DSP, all featuring some just beautiful colors, beautiful patterns. So you can get that one. You can shop for that now in my online store. So you'll just need any piece of DSP though that is eight and a half by 11. So you can also do this with cardstock, just a full sheet of cardstock. Now I've taken this one and I have scored on the eight and a half inch side. I've scored it in half at four and a quarter and I've scored it in half on the long side at five and a half. So I'm going to burnish those score lines and you're, you can see on here I have some little markers because um, we are going to quadrant off these. There are going to be four different quadrants and so I want to share with you. It's going to be easier if they're all labeled. So we're just going to fold on those score lines just to make sure we have those nice and burnished ready to go. Now I made this card with uh, my team. We did a team craft along last month. So if you're interested in fun events like that, you can join my team. Um, and we always do little fun things like that. Okay, so we're going to start down here on quadrant D. And I am going to fold it so that this edge down here is going to coordinate with that score line. And this score line is a little bit difficult to see. So I'm actually going to fold this back like this so that um, 
Now this edge goes up with this score line. Now the important thing to remember on this card, let me pull it out this way again. Let's go back to this spot. Your inside pattern, you want to face up. So this is the pattern I want on my outside. So I'm going to put that face down and my inside will be face up. Okay, so let's go back to, to this. And we're just going to fold this at a diagonal. It doesn't have to be completely up to that line. It doesn't have to be completely straight. I just want a nice edge, just like that, okay? So I'm gonna open this back up. I'm gonna move my little sticker down here. Quadrant D. All right, now we're gonna move up to quadrant A up here. And this one I'm gonna use a ruler for and a pencil. And I'm going to mark three inches in. So let me move my, my quadrant A sticker. I'm gonna mark three inches in. That is about right there. Again, this one doesn't have to be perfect either. You can make this um, smaller. You can make this um, bigger, however you wanna do this. Um, so I'm gonna just fold this at a triangle. Again, just lining it up with that three inch line. And then give that a burnish. Okay. All right. Now we have this. Look at this. And let me let me erase that little pencil line there now. Okay. So we have this one there. Give that a good burnish. Now this one back here, I am going to fold backwards like this. So it's gonna go this way. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is quadrant D. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. I'm gonna give that a burnish so it's that way. Now we do have to do one bit of trimming. We are just going to cut along the score line between quadrant A and quadrant C. And let me see, I'm gonna see that better on this side. So we're gonna just cut right up that score line. Okay, so A and C are now cut apart and we have quadrant A and quadrant D down here. We have those corners folded. Now assembling this is pretty easy, but there is a an order in which you need to do it. So we're gonna take quadrant A and we're going to fold it over quadrant B like that, okay? You can give that a good burnish. I'm gonna remove my my little stickers here. So A over B, just like that. Okay, now we're going to do D over A. So I'm gonna pull off my sticker for D. This one's gonna go up like this. As you can already see, our two pockets formed here. Okay, and then our last one is C, and C will go behind just like that and give everything a good little burnish and there is your double pocket card now we're going to adhere a few things down because it's a little bit flimsy it's going to fall apart so now that you have that that folding down though we know where to glue things down so i'm going to just take some of my liquid glue and i'm going to glue this flap down so just a little bit of glue here i'm going to glue this down this one's going to go just like this now to make our pocket I want to make sure that we are just up applying adhesive just to the edge here. We don't need to worry about the, the bottom because this is going to fold up and create that bottom, but just along the, the edge there. And we're going to glue that down. Okay. Now this one folds up just like this. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue just on this edge here so that our pocket doesn't fall out that way. And then along this edge here. Okay. And this will fold up just like that all right and you can use other adhesive too i'm going to glue this little pocket down too just a little bit of adhesive just like that you can use other adhesive you can use um, glue dots you can use tear and tape stamp and seal whatever you want to use um, the liquid glue i find holds really really well and then this one folds into the back just like that and you have a pocket here and you have a pocket here so you can do gift cards this pocket back here this is pretty um, big and you can actually fit quite a few things in here so if you have a small little gift or something you can put that in there again gift cards or um, tea bags anything you want can fit in there really cute and then the card will just open like this and you'll want to line the inside depending on your designer series paper you'll want to line the inside but isn't that so 
gorgeous. So like I said, we're not going to um, complete the card from here out because we we went over all of those 40 cards before, so I don't want this video to be too, too long. But that is the basic mechanism of this card. So let me show you that finished one with the very cute bundle again. So again, I have a gift card in the front pocket here, and I have a little stamped note in here. You could also add little pictures. This would be a great like graduation announcement or graduation um, card, um, but if you're sending family pictures for Christmas, you could stick some family pictures in here, and then you have plenty of room to, to write a greeting on the inside. So this one is with the very cute bundle. Um, then I have this one with the, um, oh, what is this one called? The Merry and Bright? I think that's what this one's called. Merry and Bright bundle. Um, again, I have a gift card back here, just a little Christmas gift card. I have a little note back here. I haven't stamped anything on this one, but you could absolutely do that. Or you can, um, again, tape a picture on here, add some little gifts back here. And then when you open it up, you have space to write and the DSP is doing all of that amazing work. Okay. And one more sample. This one features the, the more wishes stamp set and some of the same DSP from this one, from that winter meadow DSP. This is from that same DSP. So gorgeous DSP. Um, this one, again, I have a gift card in here and then I have a little pocket in here and I did stamp this one. So it says Merry Christmas to you. And I've added a little bit of ribbon and stuff. So really cute. And then on the inside, you have more room to write and then another piece of that DSP. So three different options for this double pocket card. So very cute. And it's really not that complicated. I hope that you guys give this one a try. It's very, very cute. Very simple. Um, but it's a great way to hand out gift cards this year. It's a great way to um, give little gifts. Really, really cute little card. So let me know which one you like. The Berry, um, berry Christmas the Merry and Bright or the More Wishes one. I'd love to know which one you guys enjoy the most. All right, guys, that is it for my catalog launch. Um, if you missed all the cards at the beginning, go back and check those out. I shared 40 cards from the um, new mini catalog. If you are shopping that brand new mini catalog, make sure to use this new host code. If your order's over 150, do not use the host code because you will receive um, the Stampin' Rewards, and you'll still get all the perks. If your order is under 150, please use that host code. If you are watching this on Facebook, please share this with your crafty friends. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel. That really helps my business out, and it's free, and you never miss a video of mine. All right, guys, I'll be back right here next Wednesday for another project. We'll be making it from start to complete next week. Um, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.